Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Pokemon Uranium playthrough. How are we all doing today? Now, before we get started, I got a quick clip to show you that happened just the other day. So, I'll put it up right now. Um, <laughs> hi. I wasn't expecting to record right now. Uh, <laughs> just grinding. And I run into a shiny? What? <laughs> I'm just grinding right now. And I got another shiny. Well, another shiny is relative. Oh, but like, I'm sorry, I'm obviously, I, I don't have anything set up, so I just grabbed my mic real quick, but um. What? <laughs> Just what? Oh my god. All right. Well, I caught it. I'll see you all in the episode when I record it in a couple days. Bye. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So this is the second shiny I've ever found in a game. Which obviously is a shiny we got just from, like, just playing. Just flat out just playing and we got it. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about it. It's just, it happened. I'm just, like, grinding mindlessly. Just like, oh, I'm just going to keep fighting and yada, yada, yada. Okay. Jesus Christ, that's about all I can say to that. Anyway, let's do the quickest of quick team recaps. First up, we've got Nuppin Tackle Mega Drain Synthesis Shockwave with Chlorophyll Ability. Then we've got Palige with a Big Pex. Flame Burst Incinerate Air Slash and Quick Attack. Then we've got Electroxo with Static Stomp, Aqua Jet, Water Gun, and Spark. And we've got Avadavadine with Analytic Swift Roost Air Cutter Quick Attack. And then we've got Tretractin with the Speed Boost, Iron Defense, Dragon Claw, Metal Sound Slam. And last but not least, we've got our Quick Feeded Minicorn with Me First Fairy Wind Quick Attack and Horn a uh, Freaking Attack. So, before we do anything else, let's just jump right the heck on in. As you will notice right here, it is nighttime. Why? Because I am recording this at night because we've got a little extra something, something, something that we want to get done that only occurs at night. So I'm doing this actually before last week's episodes even come out. And let's fight this dude because we haven't fought him yet. All right, I guess we're going to fight Brand first. And then we'll go fight that dude because that's the way things are. And Brand actually gives a fair amount of experience. He's also super rare to show up. I know because I've only fought like two of them this week. Ugh. And he should give us a good chunk. Oh yeah, 216. Like that looks so little, but... It's actually a lot. But Pokemon are the most diverse type. They got the biggest move pool. No, they don't. I guess if you're counting this generation of Pokemon, they do have a much bigger move pool because you've got a fire bug, you've got a water bug, an electric bug. This one's got uh, ghost moves. So like, I will give it... I, I will give you that. It does have a bigger move pool simply because it exists in this generation. But outside of that, I would say no, 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 no. That's right. You can't Abadaba affect me, yo. Ugh. Anyway. Finally, Avadeen has hit level 31. I should teach other moves to my Pokemon. That's right. Give us this Splendor Fowl. 
gorgeous. Look at those long locks. Necessary? Absolutely. Oh, you're a trainer, aren't you? Listen, are you interested in mysteries? I need some help and I need a trainer to do it. Yes. Great. My name's Ripley. My grandfather owns all the fields you see around here. But he's traveling abroad and left me to manage the farm. Lately, though, we've been having strange phenomena. I'll fall asleep at night, and when I go to check the fields in the morning, half my crops are bent over. Not only that, but seen from above, they're in all sorts of weird shapes and patterns. I can't figure it out at all. I think it might be aliens. I've tried staying up at night to catch them in the act, but I keep falling asleep. I know there's something out there. Whatever it is, it moves too fast for me to get a good picture. So that's where I need your help. I need you to sneak through the fields and find the source of the crop circles. I always see a bright light on the other side of the lake. So maybe that's where they're coming from? Be careful not to let them see you, though. Okay. Oh, you've been spotted. Um, excuse me. It seems that these Pokemon are getting a bit weird in terms of just... Oh, there's one hiding right there. That looks like it's their leader. It seems to be giving them orders. You've been spotted, but it doesn't look like it's going to flee. It's attacking! What is it? SBA-1. Uh-oh. SB-1-A. Oh my god. Words are difficult. Oh, we're now a simple Pokemon, eh? Not the Iron Defense, it's perfect. I wonder if I could have caught this. Oh, that's a good chance to try. Oh. Ah, for some reason it can't be caught. Well, that answers that Wow, oh, Jesus Christ. That's what was causing it, huh? A Pokemon, but that doesn't explain why it was attacking. It's easy, really. It's cause I was bored. Since you're a Pokemon, who are you? <laughs> you lived your whole life, Ripley. Shouldn't you know be my now? Sheldon, I can't believe you're doing this again. 
<laughs> Isn't it obvious this town sucks? Everybody's so content with their boring little lives. They don't know what real excitement is. If I had to stay hold up in that gym for much longer, I'll die. I don't think it's very funny and you shouldn't take it out on my granddad's farm. Well, that just goes to show you country people have no sense of humor. Now, I know you're a lousy trainer, so it can't have been you that defeated SB1A. So then who? Who is this kid? Funky. Funky, hmm? You must be a good trainer. SB1A is my strongest Pokemon. I don't even use her to fight challengers at my gym. You're in the area, so I assume you must be here to challenge my gym, right? Looking forward to it. SBA1. SB1A. Just take us out of here, eh? He always does this. Doesn't make it a secret that he hates this whole town, but he's stuck here out of obligation to his family. I just wish he'd leave us alone. Anyway, thanks for your help. I get it now. He had his Pokemon order the wild SB1 around. You did manage to catch one, didn't you? I hear they're pretty rare. If you didn't catch any, I managed to get one. But I'm not really much of a trainer, so would you like it? Yes. This is the only way you can get one, and you can't catch them. You only can receive it. Like, you can't catch it. <sighs> All right, that was sword in box one. Well, there we go. We got ourselves that. Now let's take a look at our Splendid Fowl, real quick. Let's see it in battle. Mysterious. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's magnificent. Why are bird Pokemon so majestic? So wonderful, so perfect. I love its cry too. Anyway. Now comes the sad part. Now that Splendifowl is fully evolved, but we've got a better flying type in our party. It is time to say adieu and collect probably SB1, actually. Just in terms of eh, 25. Eh, that's not bad. <laughs> gonna take Nup in here, move you here, and Splenda Fowl, you're gonna, I, we're gonna move our burbs over here. name. Just change it to box two. Oh, sorry. Let me uh, adjust the name to box space two. And then change the wallpaper to city. And change this to sky. And change this name to burb. Hey, yeah, our burbs. I love how some of these are animated and some of them aren't. Like regular gen Pokemon are animated, and then special other ones are animated. Like Luna Pop, Minion, Mankey, Modril, no. Glaslug, no. Barrel, no. Comet, no. Oh, Mareep's not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You are. Cancer is Magikarp, Sableye, Becquerel, Gyarados, Trapped, all those. Anyway. Anyway. So we're gonna lead with Pelage and give it the Amulet coin, obviously, because. More money is good money for me. I must collect more cash. And then I want to buy myself a brand new bicycle for two. And then I can go in tandem with you. Do, do, do. And then we'll go through the countryside. And then we'll see all of the stars. 
because it's midnight and nine. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm surprised I went with that as long as I did. I noticed that while I was grinding. And I wanted to wait until I was here with you guys. I think it's best when people are with their Pokemon. It's God's will. What do we have here? Howdy there, partner. Pokemon is determinable about what kinds of Pokemon you got, and I don't know where we're going with that. If you found me, I'm playing hide and go seek. Don't tell them I'm here. I'll give you a berry. A Kupu berry. Some days I go out and work the fields. Others I sell what we grow in the town square. Farming's hard work, but it's an honest living. Hey, look, it's Torch. You want to go to the sermon? The father is very welcoming to those who want to learn. Hello, young child. I see the spark in your eye. Please tell me. All right. Now we're not actually listening because he just kind of. It's just religion. But why are we talking to him then if it's just religion? Easy. He gives you a rare candy. Can you get them once a day? Or can we just do this repeatedly? Let's see. Can we abuse it? Nope. Dang. Saddest thing in the world when they don't allow you to abuse free stuff. Ha 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 ha! Playing hide and seek with my sister, now it's my turn to look for her. If I give you a bear, will you help me look for her? He gives me something without even bothering to wait for me to tell him where she is. Bye, kid. We're down for our bread and wine. We're a town of drinkers. Thanks for more free berries, lady. Don't be shy, have some more. No? Okay. She told me to help myself and then didn't keep giving me any, so that was sad. Alright, now what's over here, huh? The gym. Ah, Funky, good to see you here in Venus. Gym leader is Sheldon. He uses steel type and technology. It's all really out of the place among all this beautiful farmland, but don't tell him I said that steel resists a lot of times. So remember that it melts under fire, bends under fists, and fractures in the earth. Water is generally a good bet, too. Good luck. Oh, God. What do you know about computers? Oh, no. We have to lo do light stuff? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no! I bet we're gonna fall a lot. Herolect again? Alright. But the fact that we've got ourselves our flying Pelage here is really gonna do wonders for us. If we're lucky, Pelage may even evolve today. It's level 36, yo. Yeah. One more. Yes. Yes! Check it out! I can play the Legend of Zelda theme on my guitar. Sick, huh? You, um... That wasn't the Legend of Zelda. That was just a battle anthem. Comet? Oh, I guess you are technically steel, aren't you? Or just rock. Which crushes my pillage. Even though you lowered my speed, I'm still faster than a hunk of rock. Meow. Mm, that hurt. Bow, 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 bow,
SB1 is kind of interesting. It's like Sector B1. So, B1, Sector 51. So, I'm pretty sure its name is a direct, like, innuendo of, like, Area 51 type of deal, you know. Game over, man. Oh shit, if we go down here, we have to fight people? I'd say let's go through and fight everybody underneath first. That way, if we like fall down because we're trying to leave because we need healing, that way we don't actually lose more mons or potentially wide out. Because I would say if we get left with just, like, one or two Pokemon that aren't very uh, strong against Steel types, we could be in a lot of trouble. So let's take them out now. At least that's my thinking. Plus, we do want to fight them all anyway. Like, obviously people are like, uh, you don't want to fight everybody. That just means you're bad at the gym. Uh, no, it doesn't. My mind showed me that you would f that you will fail on defeating me. And I will show you that my mind said that I would win on defeating you. <sighs> of course. Oh man. But um yeah, now that we're like even further into this game now like what are you thinking of the whole entire, uh, whole entire, whole entire, like, fake mon premise? You know, obviously we've got some familiarity. You know, obviously fake mon is 100% borrowing itself from Pokemon. You know, we've seen Coromon, which is its own thing. Then we've seen fake mon, which is directly emulating Pokemon. But at the same time, it's also trying to hold its own in that, you know, I would say that despite the fact that it is utilizing actual Pokemon, it is still attempting to be its own thing. Not to the degree it could be, but like this created its own storyline. This created its own you know, region, it's, it's not, what, 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 what words am I looking for? It's not like, obviously it's not a ROM hack, which I'll jump into that later, but like, it's, it's very much holding itself out away from, you know, what Coromon is versus what Pokemon is. It's kind of like merging the two things but like, it's, you know, it's the Pokemon battle style. It's the Pokemon feel. It's the Pokemon draw. But with its own Poke, with its own Pokemon away from the others, you know? So, what are you feeling of this fake Mon vibe then, you know? The not, not a Pokemon but it Pokemon. Because I, I, I know, you know, if we're gonna play a Pokemon thing, you wanna see recognizable things. Or like, you know, be like, ah, oh, well, I mean, they're just, you know, they're just, they're making their own shit up, you know? Like these Pokemon, some of them suck. But some of them are good. I don't know what I think about them type of deal. No, I I, I want, you know, because obviously everyone's going to have their own idea of what a good, you know, how to make Pokemon better. And I, I think I've touched this somewhere else. Uh, 
I definitely have touched this somewhere else because it feels very familiar. But knowing me, I also 100% forget everything I say after I say it, so it doesn't really matter. I'm still going to go into it. Everyone's going to figure out a way to make Pokemon better for them, you know? A lot of people find Pokemon easy, hence why they have Nuzlocke challenges, hence why they have randomizers. We've got randomized Nuzlocke's now, you know? I'm a girl gamer. Oh well. Um, but um, outside of the whole idea of just you know, outside of the fact that you know these people, the creators behind Uranium, they clearly you know they wanted to have their own spin on Pokemon, which they did. You know, we've got nuclear typing. We've got you know, this entire story revolving around a missing mother, well, not missing, a dead mother who died in a nuclear reaction meltdown. Uh, we've got the best friend, rival, you know, who, you know, just feels inadequate next to you because, you know, you're better than him. He has, you know, issues with his dad, and just kind of a couple other things. And he just, he wants more out of life, you know, than he's getting. And then, you know, your dad, who's incredibly, like, inactive in your life because he's thrown himself completely into his work after, you know, his wife disappeared ten years ago. There's just so much to digest with what's going on in this story, and just, you know, it's a lot of sad, a lot of, you know... But they're trying to tell a story that's not necessarily something that you would normally get from Pokémon. And that's nice, you know? Cool. <laughs> I broke the game. Anyway. Um, yeah, but I mean, there's an entirely new region. Like, but, oh, how do I want to ask this? But what do you think of Fakemon on its own? You know, clearly they've got assets from Pokemon that they're reusing. They've got the core mechanic already down and everything, and it's just like, you know, everything's there. But like, what if, you know, they took the path of Koromon? Just, you know, letting people do their own little thing, you know, <sighs> like, all right, let's stop and talk about this because I keep getting distracted. What, for a lot of these fake mon, what do you think if they decided to just drop the idea of fake mon? You know, drop, you know, let's just fucking find me somebody. Drop regular Pokemon, drop down spars, you know, drop Magikarp, Gyarados, you know. They've got good designs, you know? These are good monster designs. Like, these are good monsters. Like, imagine, you know, these guys, you know, they... <sighs> this is its own engine. Imagine if these guys built their own engine. They scrapped Pokemon. They created their own. A lot of these assets of theirs, they've created themselves. Like, they could very easily throw out Pokemon portions, you know? Throw out, you know, a lot of these ideas, you know? 
Pokemon is not a, you know, does not have a monopoly on the Monster Catcher. They can... Don't have gym leaders, have tournaments, you know? Every town has its own tournament. And you need to win X amount of tournaments in order to advance to, you know, the region's finale. You know, and give the player an option to be like, do you want to face 10 tournaments? 11, 12, 13, 14, there's 16 total. However, once you've hit eight, you are eligible to go here. However, it's encouraged because you get more rewards, the more stuff you do, yada, 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 you know, types of deal. You could easily turn this genre on its head of what Pokemon is, create your own. Like you're already doing it. Or you could just keep it simple, you know, you've got, you know, You've got regions you've got to defeat in order to obtain, to go then take out on the entire world. I don't know. But you could follow the cookie cutter that Pokemon is, but create it your own style. And that's your own monster catcher. As long as you're not using the Pokemon assets and they're not called Pokemon, like, it, it doesn't matter. Pokemon is so big in the monster catcher, trainer, all that stuff. They could, they would do so well, I think, making it on their own. They've already done so well with what they've got, you know? Sure, everything needs a little bit of tweaking. <laughs> we'll go back to Pokemon Red and Blue. Fucking Ghost Pokemon was broken. You know, they were supposed to be super effective against Psychic and not, and be weak uh, and be strongly resistant to the psychic, but guess what? That was broken, which meant any psychic attack against a ghost type, which was only three and they were poison as well, was super effective. And guess what? Ghost couldn't affect psychic because it was broken. There are a lot of broken things in the in the first couple of iterations, and that's normal. I say go for it, dudes. Anyway, funky. I've been waiting for you. That sure was some stunt you pulled back there in the cornfield. I am almost impressed. Ah, but messing with Ripley was getting boring. Everything in this town bores me. See if you're as powerful as, as S51A seems to think. Also, Sheldon's an asshole. Leader Sheldon. He's a fucking vandal. Let's tell our dad to arrest him. Dad! Garal. Uh-oh. So remember Deerl? The barrel evolves into Deerl, which evolves into this monstrosity, by the way. It's a rock steel horse. Actually, what exactly is Garal's uh, typing? I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Haha, you got static, bitch! Uh, barrel is right here. Oh, Garol is 100% steel, never mind, it's a steel horse! And baby, let me ride my steel horse. Okay, that was weird. Metal Whip? What? Racha cha. Apparently, Metal Whip is just like a rap attack that he used on me. Ah, uh, he's gonna heal. Damn it. Watch. Fortunate. How close is he gonna be? Not. I'm gonna heal. Do I wanna use a super or a hyper? We have a lot of potions, by the way. <laughs> Thanks to our uh, item finder Pokemon. Alright, there's one Pokemon I'm afraid of in this gym, I think. Roleplay? The hell is roleplay? Oh. No, thank you. 
Comedier, eh? Oh, is this the other Pokemon I'm trying to get? Comet? Uh, I'm gonna send in Pelage. Pelage may die, but... Oh, no, this is what Comet evolves into. This is not the fully evolved form of it, either. Let's send in Nuppin. That did way too much damage on me. Shit, please don't kill, please don't kill, please don't kill. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, 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 Tracton. It's the battle of the tractor trailers, yo. Rawr. Finally, someone worth battling. <laughs> we both have speed boost. However, chances are he's gonna go faster first. Which will actually kill me. Do I want to try to stall him out? Until he uses something else? That didn't do exactly 50 this... Or... Yeah, that didn't do exactly 50. If he doesn't do exactly 50... Ooh, he should use shift gear, which... Raises his attack! Oh god. <sighs> if we had gotten a spood boost, we would have totally won that one. Um, Alright. I believe that we can win this with Tracton only. Shift gear again. Man, I wish I had attack now. Yeah, his speed can't read any raise anymore. He's setting up, though. Which is the scary thing. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I should have just gone for the attack. I think Polish is faster. If Polish is not faster, I'm gonna have to... Oh... Oh god. Mini corn for the win. Let's go, come on. Me first. I thought me first allowed us to go first, but I guess I don't know anything. Uh oh. Alright, it's up to you, Electroxo. One thing to do. Wow, we actually resisted that very well. Headbot, get him! Didn't work. If this doesn't do enough damage, I'm gonna be like so upset. We have to quick attack. Okay, that was just enough. <gasps> what? Damn straight. How? How are you so strong? I don't understand. All I do every day is train and train, and yet some little brat like you marches right in. Well, anyway, you made my day a little less boring. I guess I should give you this. <laughs> And I guess since you win, I'll give you this. Gyro Ball. It's Gyro Ball. It's a steel type move that gets stronger the slower the user is. So it's good for Gararl, but you're worthless for Tracton. As long as you're not a moron about using it, it's a strong move.
Uh, hey, are you funky? Oh, good, listen, there's this kid named Terry or something. He's got his Pokemon out and he's kind of upset. He told me he was looking for you. Can you, uh, make sure he's okay, please? He looks a bit young to be on his own. He's by the town's entrance. You know, with crazy hair like that, he should be hard to miss. Maybe you should heal up, though. Your Pokemon look all worn out from battling. Terry or something. Ah, oh, George! The crybaby, yes. Yes, I know him. Which is funny, you know what? His Pokemon should be perfect for fighting this gym, you know? He's got the right type advantages. All this quiet makes my Pokemon antsy. It's too slow for a serious training like me. I'm just gonna go beat the gym and be on my way. How about I beat you first and then you just go, go, go cry? What happened to the power plant near Beale Beach? The Tanner Rangers are all on higher alert. I'm on stake up, but it doesn't seem like anything's happening here. I couldn't be in a more exciting post. I came to Vinnaville because I heard there was some cutting edge technology in this place. Turns out it's only in the gym and the rest of this town is just farms and religious nuts. Jeez. Kinda harsh, don't you think? Those religious nuts. Funky, you already got the gym badge, huh? I tried, but his Pokemon were too strong for me. It's not fair. I just want to be a good Pokemon trainer. I work so hard, training all the time, and then you win it anyway. You're thinking I'm just a wanted kid, aren't you? Well, I'm not. I'm not just a kid. Why, don't I, why won't everyone say I'm treating me like one? How am I supposed to fight after... Dad, I miss you. Where did you go? Why did Dad's power plant have to blow up? Dad you told me to be strong, so then why haven't you called me? Where are you, Dad? Why did you go missing? I need you. Did you hear that? It sounded like an earthquake or... No, it couldn't be. I hear sirens. What's happening? There's no way it could be another meltdown, right? You kids, there's been an emergency. We need to evacuate the entire town. Let's go, Staraptor. Staraptor is my partner Pokemon from the Alma region. It's swift and strong flyer, so I can carry both of you to Legantown where it's safe. Now get on quick. What's going on? I can't explain now. Just go. No way. It can't be. Another nuclear meltdown. Oh, you're safe, thank Arceus. Follow me. Ahem. Can everybody hear me? Okay, good. We are in the middle of a crisis, the likes of which Tandor has never seen. Yes, it's as many as, as you might have feared. Nuclear plant Zeta has suffered a meltdown. As we speak, a cloud of radioactive fallout is spreading across Ratate and Vinoville. The radiation is harmful to all life. The rangers are currently evacuating everybody to safety. What the hell? Two mo nuclear meltdowns so close together? What's going on? This can't be an accident. We can't confirm any rumors right now. We're trying to make sure everybody is safe. What about our Pokemon? Yeah, save our Pokemon and the ones in the wild, too. Pokemon affected by radiation. They go all crazy, don't they? This is awful. Please remain calm. Here in Legantown, you are a safe dis distance from the fallout zone. We're doing our best to contain the spread of radiation. We'll be giving out subway passes so that you may visit family elsewhere in the region. One last thing. I understand you are worried and scared, but as long as we support one another, we'll make it through this. Look after your children and elderly. A ranger will come by soon with food and clean sheets. To all of you in this room who are Pokemon trainers, we don't usually ask for help from civilians, but as you can see, we're in the midst of crisis. If anybody has strong Pokemon that can help us battle the nuclear Pokemon on Route 11 to the north, please. Certain kinds of Pokemon, like Steel types, are more effective. He said Steel Pokemon? Look, I know I've been a real jerk in the past. I used to always say I hated Venaville and everyone in it, but the truth is, I love that place with all my heart. I just never realized it until now. Now it's my chance to prove to everybody that I do care. I'll help the Rangers. Me. Hey, me and Funky are trainers, we've got gym badges too. You? You're just a kid, sorry, but we really don't want to put any kids in danger. Stay with your parents, kiddo. Actually, I can vouch that Funky is a capable trainer. They're strong enough to beat my gym. But I mean, I am a good trainer. Let me help. I want to help. Mwah. Um, kid. Don't call me a kid. Yeah, there, dear, don't cry. Well, anyway, Funky, was it? If what Selden said was true, then we need your help. Come find us at the entrance to Route 11 to the north. We'll make sure that the nuclear Pokemon don't reach this town. I always used to say that I'd rather Vinaville get blasted off the map, but I didn't mean it literally. What gives? They always treat me like a kid. Dad wouldn't do that. Dad believes in me. Uh, oh, 
for Theo. There, there. He's in shock. He needs someone right now. It's all right. I'll look after him. Go help the rangers. They need you. My berries. I spent all year growing these. What will we eat now? We, know, we left that since we were children, didn't we? Yes, and so did all parents. Where can we go now? I couldn't beat the Vinaville gym. I guess there are more important things than Pokemon training right now. Shh, honey. Shh, it's all gonna be okay, I, I think. This is a disaster. My entire harvest ruined. I'm hungry. Why don't they bring in food? Ugh, my voice is all raspy. You can't be breathing contaminated air, can it? Worry about the effects this will have on the ecosystem. Radiation transforms Pokemon when it touches them, doesn't it? This ain't cool, man. This ain't cool. This is Legend Town Ranger House and Safe House. Yay. Come, child, you're worried. These are dark times. We must look to the light. Would you like to hear my sermon? Hey, maybe we'll get another free, um... Uh, rare candy. That's what I wanted. Yeah, hey, hey. This house smells of challenge. By the end of the year, victory roll will be open once again for the championship. This is suffering. All they're suffering all around the world. However, the pain felt by others doesn't negate the strife we face in our own lives. Okay. So that shelter was built a long time ago. Just in case of a meltdown. Rangers can't catch and train Pokemon, but most of us keep a Pokemon companion with us. You come here on a cruise? So did I. This quiet makes my Pokemon antsy. I'm just gonna beat the gym and get out of here. Is there a gym here, or are you just reading somebody else's lines accidentally? <laughs> I'm worried about Venaville's library. Some of those books are priceless artifacts dating back to the founding of Tandoa. I saw that Pokemon ball. Pokemon ball? Pokeball. Charcoal! Yo, that's gonna be great for our pillage later. Roar! Huh. You must pray to A. It's Mutius for safety. In these dark, dark times. Tinder Regional Championship is world renowned for being one of the toughest challenges for trainers to master. Anyone that conquers it is temporary celebrity. The birthplace of Heracus. If I pray to Aetis, will you make things right again? No. Super Training 10? What is this? Welcome, trainer. My name is Kenichi, and I am a ninja from Tsukinami Village, and I offer specialized training in the defense stat. Sure. Which Pokemon wants a buff in defense? How about Plish? Yo, Plish gets its defense raised. Eevee's raised by nine. Interesting. So can I just do this frequently to raise its defense EVs all the way up? Zero. I'll be honest, I do not understand. Oh, so it's stats, IVs, EVs. So I've got zero IVs in defense, but I'm still a very defensive Pokemon. Okay. That's like story stuff. Yo, Dark Pulse. Actually, pretty good move. If I remember correctly, which I usually do. Super Repel. Victory Road up ahead. Hold up, trainer. Pass here is Victory Road. Only trainers who have proven themselves can go. Oh. Lame. Tori, huh? At nine. Can we actually go over here? So I don't want to like miss out on going north. I don't know if you can actually skip that or not, but. Cool, we can go this way. Mountain Range predicts is written for the show. What happened? It's a disaster. It is a disaster. Step right there. Are you the one who's stealing my research equipment? Uh, no, super scientist. It wasn't me. 
It's all big on the counter. It wasn't me. 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 Okay, I'm I'm done on that front. Alright, so we're battling these guys right now. Why? So I can get to a place to grind for next week, as well as, you know, there could probably be some new counters over here on Route 9, so we might as well hit it, right? You know? I'm bored. <laughs> Not bored, I'm hyper. I get hyper sometimes at night, okay? Oh, it wasn't you? Oh, my apologies, good sir. You're a fire breather, aren't you? Yowza! Are you feeling the heat? Oh, sorry, Pyro Maniac. Pelige, I know that Pokemon. I got one of those. In fact, we're using it. Hey, it's a bright day. Yeah, I'm a little weird. We went off on like that serious rant about things and like, you know, we had to just turn that around and bring back the good weird stuff that is me, you know? That's just how it be sometimes, bro. Oh, Blitz is so close. Mm. Do we want Blitz to evolve today? Do we? Do we? I'm feeling a yes from the crown. What a scorch! Sure. He wants to fight me again? Sure. Skittle swap! Perfect. Training. Training. Oh, and I can grow berries here, too. That actually really works out for us. Alright, I'm going to quickly yeet some potions. We're gonna fight this Chica over here on the right. That should be enough to get us our level. I'll worry about planting berries. I'll probably 100% forget about the whole idea of planting berries, but you know what? Whatever. Picnic or banana, so. It's a burb. Is that a burb? Is it really a burb though? Or is it like a winged mammal? Like a flying squirrel? It's got wings, it's a burb. Does that make bats birds? Aberdeen. But we've already seen it's Splendifowl evolution. And Splendifowl it is. <laughs> Glaslug. Ice water, so this should still be effective. Ha! Take down, silly glass lug. <laughs> wow, strong! All right, so we're gonna take this off of the mini corn for now and throw it on SB1. We're looking for trainers mostly right now. What's this? I'm the daycare man. I'll take care of your precious Pokemon. What is that Pokemon? I honestly don't know. What's this? Rock slide, pretty nice. Been using that on our Larvitar now that we got it. Aroma Lady, this'll be easy. Easy money right here. 
for Pelage. Come on, we got six minutes. Can we grow one level in six minutes? Depends on the experience. 168's not gonna do it for us, though. That's gonna take too long. I would have used a rare candy if we were, like, barely made any EXP, but we made too much EXP for me to want to waste. Whimsicott, now that's a good one. This should give us a good chunk more. I hope. Three? Five. Ah, oh, I was hoping for another one. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. Let the Pokemon the daycare and forgot about it for a while. When I came back, it gained a bunch of levels. That is what tends to happen at the daycare. Okay, yeah, so this is right back where that where we caught like Luna Pup and everything like two, three weeks ago. Three, four weeks ago. <sighs> I've run out of trainers, which is what I was afraid of. Alright, there'll be new uh, Pokemon in here. I think there's at least one new one, I think, Paradio. Which we've seen a couple of times today already. So, that'll be fun. God, how much, how much experience do I need for this? 900, so that's nine fights. Ugh. Screw it, let's do it. Let's do it, stick it. Let's evolve. Let's get both burbs evolved today. Let's go. Then all of our burbs will have evolved today. Give us another boss chiff. I said a boss chiff, not a costra. I don't care what you are, actually, as long as you can give me enough experience. <laughs> yes, more boss chiff. It's another 250. I'm excited for all of our burbs. All of them. Another 250? Yeah. All right, we're gonna actually jump up here so I can grab this item real quick so that, you know, I actually have it and I will. What are you? Flagger. Yo, you look cool. Do we have yeet balls? Do we have yeet balls? Do we have yeet balls? Ah. Yay. What is that? I don't remember seeing you on here. Flager. The Cub Pokemon. Hmm. Fun fact. Flager was formerly a starter Pokemon during Beta 1.0 and 2.0. And it will, and it does evolve with a Firestone. So we can evolve this whenever we want. And it can make a evolve. By the way, when can we make a evolve stuff? Oh, Snowbank City. Cool. Alright. Let's grab this free item. Thunderstone! Nice! Alright, so we have to get to Snowbank. So, the seventh gym is when we'll be able to make an evolved Pokemon. <laughs> Lame, but whatever. And this should allow us our Polish to evolve! Look at that. And well, we still had time to spare. Actually, no, we don't. Lava Plume? Yo. Eighty. May leave targets burned. All right, let's get rid of Incinerate. Say hello to Pajay. Look at the big birdie! This actually looks like a Digimon, 100%. It looks like, um... Oh shit, the fire... Not the fire, uh... Sora? Yeah, Sora's... Digimon... 
when it's like fully digivolved or whatever. I think that's her name, Sora. I don't remember. It's been forever since I've seen the like OG Digimon, so. Ugh. All right. Oh, it's so cool. Alright, well. <laughs> well, this is as good a place as any for us to kind of just leave it off. Um, obviously, like I've told you guys before, I'm going to be obviously grinding up things. Like, you don't need to be grinded, really. You don't need to be grinded, really. I'm actually going to move you two over here because you guys are like, maybe I'll use you again in the future. But like, you know, maybe we won't. Unsure. Uh, let's move things around. You are just used for grinding, which actually I'm gonna just throw you in here right now. Tracton, I don't know if I'm gonna use Tracton anymore. Like, it's cool having a dragon type, but I never use dragon types. Um, all right. Hold on, I need to check something on Daryl real quick. Uh, no, that's Comet. Uh, where's Daryl on this list? Okay, you you just evolve. I need to focus on you because you require the tradey thingies I'm gonna be working on. Liz, you you leave. You 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 sit here, Burb. So I think in order of importance, I'm gonna try to get oh god, Tubjaw. Alright, I'm gonna put Tubjaw probably in the daycare. And if I can put two people in the daycare, I'll put Kaznail in too. No. I'll actually put Spoonie in, because Spoonie needs to get into, like, the 40s to evolve, I think. Hold on. Let me find one of these guys. Here you are. Yeah. I'm going to put these guys in. So these two are going to go in, and then I think we're going to focus on... This requires a stone as well. You require a stone. You require a stone. You require high levels. You require a held item I don't have yet. Sorry, I'm just reordering that, organizing this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just take you out real quick. I'm gonna grab you. And take you out real quick. I'm gonna grab you. Cause Tub Jaw doesn't evolve for quite a while. Hold on. I'm just letting you guys know what's gonna be happening behind the scenes. Let's see, Mo Drills 34. You're 16, so you're gonna take a while. Um, Tubjaw evolves at 34 as well, so that's gonna take a while, so. Yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna leave it off for today. And we'll end up picking up with this again at some point next week. So, <laughs> no, not give, take. So, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you are greatly enjoying this just like I am, and until the next time, everybody. A sh- Day Funker Purple!